Welcome to Word Power, Architecture and Guiding Principles. Nancy Inman, the author of Word Power Vocabulary, will be your presenter today. My name is Lisa Tim, and I manage the training and implementation for PRC Soft Hello, and I'll be moderating this session. And then this session will cover the Word Power options found across PRC Soft Hello devices and apps. We will explore the general architecture and guiding principles behind the organization of the vocabulary files. And then you will see demonstrations of how the files navigate and understand the color coding that is used throughout. First, what systems would you find WordPower on? So you'll find WordPower is available on the TouchChat app, NovaChat devices, and on the Accent with New Voice. It's also available on the grid, but we are not covering that today. The principles of organization apply across the systems. Different platforms may offer unique features that fit and support a client best. WordPower programming takes advantage of feature opportunities within the different platforms as they are available. We'll touch on many of these features found on the different platforms throughout the presentation, but also know that we will not cover everything that, you, that will be different across them. I, uh, we've tried to indicate which platform you will see by using the logos you see, so Touch Chat, Nova Chat, and Accent. So you'll know a little bit whether they're offering all three or just two of them or one of them. WordPower suite of vocabulary options will be the same on a Nova Chat and Touch Chat with WordPower app. You'll find 11 English files, three Spanish, and two brand new French options. The buttons per page will range from 20 to 140. NovaChat and TouchChat app offer images with symbol sticks as a default, and then PCS, PCS is available as an add-on. Day three of this series will explore the Spanish and French files. And then on the Accent devices, you'll find 17 options, all English, ranging from 28 buttons per page to 144. The images will be the MinSpeak, or other known as, otherwise known as PRC icons. And at this point, I will turn it over to Nancy to lead us through the design and architecture. Okay, thank you, Lisa. And so Lisa, people can be asking questions during if they want. Yeah. Um, okay, so Lisa will be monitoring that, and then we're, we're gonna try to have time at the end for questions. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we're, um, it's nice that we have three days. I don't know, some of you may be, we know several of you are scheduled to come for two days. So um, hopefully we can take our time going through these and um, get through lots of information in the next few days. Um, so we're going to, the, the goal is for everyone to have a good feeling of the programs that are done for the Saltillo PRC platforms. And I'm going to be doing a lot of demonstration today using uh, the PRC Path software, the Touch Chat app, and um, the Nova Chat. So all the files are research-based, and uh, when I started this endeavor years ago, um, I used the Buchelman and Banaji studies. Of course, we know there are lots of studies now that look at core vocabulary and what are the most common words in the language. So all of these um, vocabularies are core vocabulary based and research based. And um, of course, I'm a clinician, so um, I've never stopped seeing clients the, the whole time I've been working on these products. So um, lots of information comes from my uh, experience with clients um, and parents and families. And I always try to listen, so I'm always open to um, suggestions for the vocabularies. They're all designed to be very efficient. They're um, designed to be logical and intuitive. Um, I'm always thinking how can the vocabularies be the most efficient um, with the fewest keystrokes. So some of the ways I do that are to use what I call logical next words, word completion, and then there, are, no matter what vocabularies, there's always spelling with word prediction. And some of the word power vocabularies have the spelling board right on the main page and some of them are on a separate page. So as I said, the key elements, core vocabulary, um, in addition to core, of course, core doesn't get you very far if you don't have a robust fringe vocabulary also. Um, I always do my very best to make sure there's consistency in design so someone can move from one vocabulary to another 
And, um, and that works for clinicians as well as for clients that might be going from one to another. Um, there are lots of literacy supports throughout the vocabularies, spelling, pages, phonics, early books. Um, there's always smart punctuation. Again, I'm going to be demonstrating all of these things. And um, one of the things I'm doing on almost all of my newer work now is including core vocabulary within the category pages. So, um, of course, core is on the main page, and then um, oftentimes you'll find core vocabulary and category pages with WordPower also. Um, so there's automatic grammatical forms. So you'll notice that when you have the present progressive form of the verbs will appear automatically, like he is going. Um, the infinitive form appears automatically after I want, like I want to go. Uh, after I like, the verbing comes up. So I like swimming, I like seeing, I like going and the past participle verb form. So I have gone, I have eaten, I have been. Um, you'll see negatives and negative contractions. And then the grammatical morphemes are available after verbs and adjectives. And then um, the programs are multilingual. So now there's um, three Spanish files and I'm working on a, a fourth and I will be showing that. And um, and then two French files. So, the, on the left, you'll see a screenshot of WordPower 60 Basic for, for Saltillo. And on the right, you'll see the WordPower 60 Enhanced for the um, Accent New Voice software. So, you'll see on both of them across the top, you'll see the categories. I always capitalize the categories just to. Um, highlight the fact that these are links. So you always have, um, like I said, a link to the spelling page, people, questions, actions, social, places, time, and <clears throat> then groups takes you to a whole page of categories, describing words and action words. So um, these are some examples of um, the logical next words. So um, for example, when you go, uh, when you select the word go, you see the options go for a walk, get ready. And so um, I'm going to demonstrate um, some sentences that show um, logical next words. So I'm going to flip over to this is touch chat, and I'm going to be using a mouse to demonstrate this. I want. So you see after I want, you see everything is in the infinitive form, to get. To get. And then we see the logical next words of get ready, get dressed, get up. Ready to go. And here's the smart period. I want to get ready to go. I am. So everything's in the present progressive. Going for a walk with you. I am going for a walk with you. I'm coming back to see you. I am coming. So after come, you have come back, come over, come away, come up, come down. Back to see. You, I am coming back to see you. In that sentence, I'm going to um, call attention to something. If I clear the display and select you, you, you is in the, a subject pronoun there. So you'll see all the um, helping verbs appear here and some extra verbs here. But if I, if the word you follows a word like with, then it's the object pronoun. So if I say, um, I will go with you, I will go with you. So ap after with, you see that you doesn't do any of those special things. There's, there are no extra 
um, helping verbs showing up. I will go with so the, the pronouns it and you are always very tricky to program because it can be a subject pronoun or object pronoun. So this software has button sets and allows me to put something called a modifier on with, which then says when I say with, you is going to be an object pronoun and it is going to be an object pronoun. Okay. I can. So here that the place for don't becomes the negative contraction. Can't take. And here are all the logical next words after take. I walk with you. To say now, I just go to time. No. I can't take a walk with you now. Okay. I have. So you see the verb forms change. Eaten. Whenever you say the verb eat and you it follows, it's followed by at, at, it will take you to restaurant. That Chinese restaurant. I have eaten at that Chinese restaurant. I am ready to go. I am ready to go. My favorite color. So if I say my, my. then you see um, favorite pops up beside it. Favorite color is red. My favorite color is red. And if I say my favorite colors, my favorite color. So here's the plural colors. And this is just an example of the different keys communicating with one another. So after I say color, the word is turned into R. R, red, and green. My favorite colors are red and green. I like it a lot. I like it a so lots of things come up after a a can turn into the word about or a lot a little a long a problem a lot and if i want to do an exclamation point i can go to this key and that's where i have the smart question mark and the smart exclamation i like point. it a lot and then all of the vocabularies have a favorite things so if i say uh -huh. i like to like to you have a button that says favorite things and then this is just a sample of things that you might want to have on here um, but of course it's meant to be customized play on the computer and play the drums i like to play on the computer and play the drums okay now i'm going to jump over to the word power 60 basic program and i'm going to use a feature um, uh, that's called profiles and so I put added a link right here and it says jump over to word power 60 basic and so and I set up the settings the way I want them so I'm just going to do a few more examples of logical next words so when, here when I say go, go for a walk for a walk um, I will take a bath and take a shower I will take so we've got take a picture take a break take a bath take a shower a bath i will take a bath you are doing a good job you were doing a and when i say good good i get good way good day good idea good job job you are doing a good job that's something i, I model for my clients a lot in therapy you did did a, a good, good job, job today today you did a good job today um i believe all of the word power files also have um something that follows i need uh -huh. so when i say i need need you see, you have lots of open spaces. So I must. So it has some common things like I need to use the bathroom, I need medicine, I need to take a break, I need help. But the um, 
the blank spaces are meant to be customized. A hug. Please. I need a hug, please. When you say, I feel, feel, the software automatically goes to a page of feelings. Really happy. And then um, after the feelings, you have the option of throwing in um, an emoji if you want. And also, um, it's followed by the words when and because. So I feel happy when, when I eat. Pudding. I feel really happy when I eat pudding. Or we might say, I feel sad because I can, can't go with you. I feel sad because I can't go with you. Okay. Any questions, Lisa? That I need to address. No, I'm I'm answering okay. those as we need to. Okay. Good. And then I'm just I just jumped over to the WordPower 60 enhanced. And after I did WordPower 60 basic for the touch chat and Nova chat devices, I would I was asked if I could do something similar on the accent new voice platform. And that's what this is. It's like I said, it's called Word Power 60 Enhanced or Picture Word Power 60 Enhanced. Um, I know you are having a really good time. Hi. No. You are having. A really good time. I know you are having a really good time. I love the smart period. I start even my very youngest clients on using that smart period because it gives, um, they get used to finishing their sentences with it. They can hear their sentence. And then they don't have to clear their display before they start their next sentence because automatically the next sentence will be capitalized. Help him turn it up for us. So here on this vocabulary, I had room to put he, she, they, we. So if I say help, help, it turned those pronouns into the object form. Help him, him turn it up for us. Help him turn it up for us. Okay. Can you show how adding a question mark uh, works the same as the smart punctuation? Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. So I'm going to start with, oh, I don't have to start with a question, but um, I could say, is it time to go? Is it time to go so i hit questions and i have the question smart question mark and exclamation point is it time to go i went yesterday i went yesterday Yeah, wait a minute. And why did that happen? Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay, so the next key element I want to talk just a little bit about is very similar, and that is word completion. And I have um, a few examples of word completion to show you. Okay. Okay, so when I hit any verb here, help, help, 
you see we have E, D, I, and G, and S. So this is where the um, grammatical morphemes are, and this is also where the plural S is. And this was tricky because because um, I had here on the main page. So I, if, if I clear the display or hit a smart period, I can say here it, it is. is. Here it is. But if I hit a word that needs a plural, Time. The plural is going to be there. Times. Okay. Another example of word completion is about. Of course, I always, you know, the toughest thing about this is having, you know, figuring out where you can put all these words. I I wish I had room for about here, but I didn't. So if you can get about with two hits, you a. a and a about. Okay. So if I want to say it is about time, it is a about time um if i want to if i select in in i can say inside side or in in back in front um out outside so we could say in, inside side out side up side down Um, if I wanted to say something like, that's really fun. That. You also have the contraction, the contracted form uh, where the S normally appear. That's. Really. Fun. That's really fun. I'm going to do the sentence. I don't like to be outside without my coat. So notice this is the negative key. This is where no is, this is where not is, and where don't is. I don't like to be outside with out my jacket. I don't like to be outside without my jacket. Okay, so hopefully you have a good feel for the idea of word completion and um, logical next words. I help helped. They are helping. Hungry. Hungrier. Then you are that that's really funny. Okay, so that so there you were just seeing some of the same things on Word Power 60 Enhanced. And Lisa did a really nice job of pre-recording some of these. Um so I'm going to talk a little bit about the organization. Um, the organization of word power is based on the Fitzgerald key, just meaning things go from left to right with pronouns, verbs. And um, you can see the people are always in, the people and pronouns are in yellow, and the link to people is yellow. And then the actions, I always have the helping verbs in the lighter green and the regular verbs in the darker green color and adjectives and the do uh, the link to describe in a pink questions in blue and the noun groups are in orange okay so um, this is just a list of um, the english and the spanish files and the um, simple simpler phrases simpler programs um, so there's word power basic and then there's regular picture word power. And so I, I'm going to try to show you and explain what's the difference between the basic files and the other and the other files. So the simpler programs that are the um, phrase based are for Saltillo or for Novachat Touch Chat is Word Power 20 Simply and Word Power 25 Touch and Scan. And then a couple of years ago, I did um, 
the 36 picture word power and 28 picture word power for the accent. So these files with fewer cells are for people that um, may have vision problems. Um, they may need um, fewer, larger cells because of um, cognitive issues or because of access issues. So sometimes people with might access these devices, um, these programs via scanning, or they might use eye gaze. Okay, so um, as I said, I'm gonna talk about the, the basic file. So when I um, did the, the first basic file I did was WordPower 60 basic, and then WordPower 42 basic for Saltillo. And, um, I was working with a group of people and um, got lots of feedback. And so um, Carol Zangari was on the team giving feedback. And so we first made a list of what we wanted in these files. And one thing we wanted is increased symbol support because we wanted the basic files to work with a large group of individuals in terms of abilities and age. So lots of uh, people in, high school might use word power 60 basic it's not a program for young kids but we wanted it to be right for young kids so even kids that were just starting so um, in the past i had often not put pictures on the pronouns but we decided to put pictures on all the pronouns um, another um, thing i was asked to do is to put yes and no on the home screen and um, so i'm going to just kind of go through these and um, trying to think how I'm going to show this. I think I'm going to show this here. Okay. So you can see on this file, this is WordPower 60 Basic, that all of the pronouns here have symbols. And if I go to people, you have symbols and color coding here. And then the yes and no are here. And some of you all may have heard me say this, but I had never really put yes and no on the main page before, but um, it seemed to be very helpful for a lot of uh, people using this file that are on the autism spectrum. And um, most people with cerebral palsy or motor difficulties are able to indicate yes and no, but an awful lot of people on the autism spectrum have trouble with that. So the yes and no, are on the main page and then they also appear on all the category pages in the bottom left. Um, then we thought about um, which verbs to put on the main page and we decided we wanted to use sentence starters. So because we're assuming that some of the people using this file are just beginning, just learning their, uh, to communicate, that we wanted them to have words like go and open and read and turn, that all those things start a sentence, where feel is a very important verb, but we don't often start a sentence with feel. So where um, here we would have read, read a book. Book, read book. Or open, open it. it. Or go. go away away but the verb feel um, pops up after following a verb so again we we wanted all of these um, verbs on the main page to be sentence starters and then we also looked at the symbols themselves we wanted to make the symbols really easy to look at i think we changed watch so it looks like people watching tv open um finish oh all was it was tough to decide how to symbolize all and when so when you sit oh. all you've got all done all gone all up we know that all is a, a really um early word in development um so we also have um lots of early concepts with picture support. So for example, when I touch ABC, we have the concepts of first, second, third, last. And there are daily routines. So if I go to time and activities, 
It's time for blocks. It's time for free play. And um, I'm going to show the social page. So when I go to social, um, we have lots of things on this page. So we have some greetings. So we have hello. Hey there. Lots of different ways to greet people. When I say good, we can say good day. Good morning. Good night. How's it going? How are you? And again, all of these things are meant to be customized. And then when you say goodbye, goodbye, you have lots of different ways to say goodbye. Goodbye. See you later, alligator. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. And then one of the parents that I work with a couple years ago said she was having the hardest time getting her son to tell her about his day. Um, he went off to a day program every day. So we um, programmed this for him and now I've put it on all the files. So when you ask your student, how was your day or how was your weekend? My day was great. My day was not so good. And so you can also do my weekend. Um, and then you can ask, well, um, what did, or who did you see? Saw my friend. Where did you go? I went to the mall. I had fun. And then one of my colleagues said, oh, we should, we should be able to answer, um, how did you feel? I felt really fine. How about your day? The, the, the one that um, another I parent uh, suggested was, what did you learn about? Learned about. And then this just takes you to the categories. Leave. Leaves. And acorn. Acorns. I learned about leaves and acorns. The social page also has um, some uh, items that are just meant to be um, ways that someone can participate in a conversation. So if someone's listening, you can say awesome. And then if you want, you can put um, some emojis up there. That's cool. Great. So just ways for people That's to funny. comment. I love it. And then the things that are in the darker colors are um, the things that are more negative. No way. Oh my. Uh oh. Oh no. Hushed face. And the social page also has a link to personal and questions. So this is a way that someone can give information about themselves and ask questions. My name is. What's your name? My email address is. What's your email address? So obviously this is all meant to be customized. Okay, um, another thing that's special and unique about the basic pages that I had not really done before is that um, the verbs, certain verbs link directly to the categories and those verbs are within, are found within the category. So I'll show you how this works. So the verbs that are special on this program, on this vocabulary are eat, drink, feel, play, read, watch. So I'm going to say I, I am eating. And so the verb eat takes you directly to the category of snacks. Goldfish crackers and 
cookie, cookies. I am eating goldfish crackers and cookies. Do you want to drink? So again, drinks takes you right to the drinks page. Chocolate milk. Do you want to drink chocolate milk? I would love watching cartoon cartoons with you. I would love watching cartoons with you. So hopefully you're noticing that because I'm starting on the main page, I'm going to these, I'm selecting these verbs. When I hit the smart period, it takes me back. But I can go to these categories. And so for example, I'll go to the art page. And because I'm starting within the art page, I can say, I. when I say I, the page is not as crowded. So it might be an easier way to introduce the vocabulary want to draw a picture. I want to draw a picture. And then um, the smart period does not take you out of that page. If I go to read, do you like reading story, stories? Do you like reading stories? And while you're uh, showing that, can you talk a little bit about how the core that's embedded is, is in the same place as much as possible? Yes. Pages. Okay, so here's an example. Here's the colors page. And you see all these pronouns are in the same place that they are on the main page. And when you say I, these are the most high frequency pronoun phrases. So if I start from the core and so I say uh -huh. I, those, those words are there, but you get a whole lot more. So it might be a little bit more overwhelming to someone just learning. But if I wanted to just work on saying I want the red, I might start right on the colors page. I want the red, please. I want the red, please. Can I have a blue? Can I have a blue? Anything else, Lisa? No, not yet. Okay, all right, good. I think I want to, before I go on, um, I wanted to show um, the difference between the uh, picture word power and picture word power enhanced and um, word power 60 basic and word power 60, kind of show you um, how that's different. And I, I think I'll go ahead and maybe set up a profile. Do you think that would be helpful, Lisa? Sure. Okay. So, um, cause I'm not sure I have one. Let me just look, Let's see if I have a profile for word power. Oh, I do. Okay. And I had mentioned in the chat that we would be showing profiles tomorrow, how to set them up too. So. Okay. Okay. So, um, so I won't, I won't set that up. I'll just show you how the difference here. So with word power 60, um, you see there, there's less symbols, so um, symbols are not on the pronouns. And when I say eat, eat, I have links to the food, but it doesn't jump me to food right away. Um, so maybe I want to say, um, um, you know, I, I have eaten enough or I, um, I've eaten about all I need. You know, I don't want to go directly to the eat page. Um, so when I say drink, drink. Again, I have certain drinks that pop up and I have a link to the drinks page, but it doesn't go there. Um, if I want to say, if I say I play, 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 my links are to games, toys, and sports. 
Baseball. So if I wanted to say, do you play baseball? Do you play baseball? Do you play baseball? Whereas? On the 60 basic file. Do you play? And then I would choose this link here. Baseball. Do you play baseball? So, I, you know, I don't think either file is better. You know, it's not better than the other. It's just different. So you need to understand that. Um, then I'm going to jump over to the new voice. And I'm going to kind of show you the same thing. First, I'll start with um, picture word power enhanced. So I can say eat. Eat. It takes me right there. Eat pizza. Pizza with mushrooms. Eat pizza with mushrooms. Or play checkers. Hi. play checkers I read and it takes me right to the reading page book I play checkers I read book So here on this version of um, picture word power with the keyboard on it. I play. And then here's a, uh, the links are here. Checkers. I play checkers. I am watching. And then there's a link. Uh, a movie. I am watching a <laughs> a movie. I am watching a a movie. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, there are literacy supports, and so again, when um, I was doing the Word Power sixty basic file, um, we were trying to do our best to um, have this file support Carol's and Gary's um tell me program and so these are the books that are in that program and so if you go to groups and the reading these early books are here so books like brown bear brown bear brown bear what do you see i C. A. Red bird. Looking at me. That's. So um, the purpose of these is um, for fun. And I've, I've actually gotten a lot of nice feedback. People really like having these books in the program. They can certainly be customized. Um, but then um, a, an awful lot of therapists have used these templates also. So the book templates are just set up. Uh, a place for you to put the title and some basic core, and then you can um, put whatever books you want into the system. All right, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and we do have some scanning questions coming up, so I want to make sure we get to that, but I did want to um, ask this one. So she asked, verbs, why aren't all verbs alphabetical on actions page in WordPower 60 Basic? How do you know whether a verb will be under actions icon or under actions A to Z? I often find myself searching when I am trying to find a verb and have to look in several different places. Well, okay. Um, so when I select I, 
Um, of course, I added the the verbs that would be most common. So these verbs, as much as I could, I put them in alphabetical order, but um, they had to be in the same place. So when I just hit actions, I had to put the verbs here that appear after I. So it, it doesn't make, it, it, it couldn't be perfect. And then as much as I could, I've added, um, you know, all of these are in alphabetical order. And even um, the verbs that are here, like the verb close, it's here or close, but it's also on this page. Um, Can you show the groups page in the, um, in the end where it shows all of the verbs on those pages? Do we still have that? Do, do uh, what, Lisa? Groups and then the tips for word power. Oh, yes. Tools for word power and tips for actions. Yeah. The key featured below gives access to a comprehensive list of verbs listed alphabetically. <laughs> what happened to that page? Well, that used to be there. <laughs> it used to be there. Oh, I don't know what happened to that. So we'll have to revisit that. Yeah, we will. Okay. Yeah, now we want to move on. Yeah. Talk about access. Okay. So um, I want to talk about the scanning file and um, I'm going to do my best to demonstrate scanning using iOS scanning and then using the scanning built in to the to the devices. So first thing I'm going to show is um, iOS scanning. By that I mean the scanning that's actually a part of the iPad. And I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to load the um, Word Power 25. Okay. And this is this file is called Word Power 25 Touch and Scan. And um, so on the iPad, if you were going to scan with this, you would turn on the iOS scanning. So, and I'm going to use my finger as a switch. I'm just going to touch the screen so you can see how it works. I want. Help. I want help. Can. I. Drink. water can i drink water okay so i can't i the scan just keeps going i have it set so it's going to scan through two times um it's it's actually pretty nice but you really the scanning doesn't really work very well if you're using more than 25 locations if you want to scan with word power in my opinion you would want with more than 25 cells you would probably want to use either the Nova Chat or the Accent um, that has pretty sophisticated scanning features. So um, now I'm going to, let's see. What I'm doing now is I just laid down a Nova chat and let me turn off this. Let's see. And again, I'm use, going to use my finger as a switch and you're going to see that this has um, some custom scan features and I was able to program uh, stop scanning when you hit the clear or when you hit the smart period. Uh, 
I like. To play. Ball. I like to play ball. So it stops scanning. It. Is. All gone. It is all gone. Okay. So word power 140 scanning um, for the Nova chat has custom scanning. And so unlike the one I just showed that was just row column scan, um, the next file I'm going to show with 140, you can see how the blocks are arranged. And then when you when it goes into spelling, everything else disappears. So um, I call that predictive reduction so that when you're spelling, it only focuses on um, what you're what you're doing, just the keyboard. So I'll pop back over here and I'm going to go to application settings and profile. And I'm going to load the profile for first. I'm going to show. I'm just going to show a couple of things without scanning. So um, you can see that when I select I. the pronoun I, um. you see things disappear because I wouldn't want to say I am would, I am will, I am could. Um, so for the scanner, you want the key, the keyboard to be as efficient as possible. So, I, um, so certain things disappear and you'll see that when it's scanning, that it makes it more efficient. Um, this key on the left um, takes you to high frequency pronoun phrases. I am going. And when you start spelling, everything disappears except for the spelling and the word prediction. Okay, so now let me turn the scanning on. Again, my finger is going to be the switch. And you can see the groups. Come with me. We're in our last like four minutes of our session. Okay, I'm going to, okay. So this is our keyboard and you can just see It doesn't have to spell everything when you're spelling. It doesn't have to scan everything. David. Come with me, David. Okay. There was a question um, about research. So is there any research on word power and hyperlexia? And I had said I didn't know of any. I kind of searched for some and I didn't really find any specific for that. Not that I know of. For, for kids that are using it with hype that happen to have hyperlexia? 
Yeah, I did. I don't know. Okay. I have a little girl on my caseload right now who's hyperlexic. Um, so I, I don't know. Um, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> well, I know that was a quick overview of everything. Are there other questions that we could answer? No, I think that I was able to address all the questions there and you addressed them as we went through. So, um, so Mariana says we should do some research. So, and I can tell you, I had a client oh, that was probably eight years ago. That was the three-year-old on WordPower 80 way back when who was hyperlexic and did very well. <laughs> so, um, it, that is so with the really handouts, I just want to say a couple of things. So while we didn't get to demonstrate necessarily all of the scanning options and, and um, head pointing, the idea of this session was to get an overview of what word power is and how it's designed. And you'll see that it goes across all of the different files. So you're looking for that con continuous architecture throughout. So I want to make sure that that was clear. You know, the whole point of demonstrating these was to allow that to happen. Um, and so you want to keep going in the slides and in the slides, your handouts have these slides in them and the hyperlinks are there for you. So you'll be able to uh, connect to all those hyperlinks within there. Yeah, I didn't touch on the fact that um, the touch chat app with iPad Pro does have head tracking, which is an awesome feature. And this is the scanning with 144 word power for new voice. And then there's an 84 scanning file also. And with um, the accent, you can use the new eye for access. And head tracking. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, one of the things, and we'll talk about it tomorrow at the session if you're with us, but we're talking about the resources and implementation ideas. And so we'll talk a little bit about these user guides um, that Nancy has created that really walk you through practice and, and ideas within the, the the different files. So for the session today, we thank you for joining us. Um, if you want to go to the ASHA, the last slide. Mm -hmm. Thank you all for joining us.